Hey guys, Thelm here. I just want to take a minute and let you guys know why you are seeing these pictures. This is essentially the evolution of my art desk. I started taking images and pictures back in about 2013, and back then I barely had anything. In fact, as you guys probably see, they used to fit into an Amazon gift box. So I just want to say, like, it takes time to collect everything that I have. It's been almost four years since I really started seriously collecting art supplies. And even then, I only have, like, my family and my friends to thank because they're usually the ones that get my art supplies come Christmas and my birthday. So please keep that in mind when you are watching this video that everything was amassed in time. Also, in case any shaky cam happens, I do apologize. But regardless, I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys understand why I'm putting this disclaimer at the beginning of my video, along with the images of my art desk, to the best of my knowledge, in order. So, hopefully you guys keep this in mind, and everything that you guys might be interested in, ask below, and I will leave links. So, see you guys... Uh, Later, I guess. Enjoy the video. Welcome to my 2016 dust tour. So, this is my dust tour. Um, as you guys probably already seen, my little disclaimer, so I'm going to get right into it. So, this here is where I sit. It's glorious. It's covered in cat hair. And Houdini likes to climb on it. So this over here is my computer space. I think it was moved over from last year. I think I swapped places with them and then I swapped back. Uh, so yeah, that's my laptop. I know one of the buttons is missing. It's okay because my laptop also, like the mouse pad, is a touch pad thing. Uh, got a fan going, so that's why you hear that. My little sock monkey light. The webcam right there that is on top of my laptop is what I use to record my audio. Down below it, we, we're gonna sit, down below it right here, we have all of my used up sketchbooks, my light box, and my lap desk, which I like to use in comparison to my actual desk, just because my, I don't know, it's easier for me to get things right whenever it's on my lap and I've got it tilted. So that's where all that stuff goes. And then, wait a minute, down here we have my ottoman and on top of my ottoman is my scanner. And I'll have information about that down below. And this here, which I don't think changed very much, we have my printer, some tea, some papers, some paper for my printer. <laughs> um, some sketchbooks, and then in front of the sketchbooks we have art by Nautica Williams. Um, that one in the back is an original, and the one in the front, the smaller one, that is a print. This right here is my external hard drive, which is glorious and epic and whatnot. And then down here we have boxes that I keep stuff in. That's why that box is right there with the tube thing. That is going to be used for something or other because I've run out of boxes. And I love boxes. So, yeah. And then down there is my core jungle and uh, my clay stuff. So, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much unchanged, I think, from last year for the most part. So, um, yeah. Other than swapping things around. So, this here is my main art desk. This is where I do most of my arting stuff. So, yeah. So, up here on top of my Copic case, we have two pencil sharpeners. This is mostly used for decoration. Uh, pictures, obviously, back behind it of my fiancé and of things. Here is another pencil sharpener. I don't use it too often, but it comes in handy from time to time. Cup holding uh, paint brushes, watercolor stuff, and other things like pencils, pens, etc. This here is my second lamp. I got it at Walmart for like 15 bucks. So I have my makeup brush thing that I use for eraser dust, glitter, and my charger for my camcorder. It's part of the reason why I like this is because I can plug it in and I can charge it while recording and having a light on. 
while I'm recording. <sighs> this down here is my Copic case. So here are all my Copics. Jelly Roll pens, inking pens, extra tools. These are my refills. And then here is where my tripod sits on top of an empty box with my camcorder down here. It's down below. It's listed. It's always in all my videos. This here is my kneaded eraser. This here is Houdini. Hi, babies. Yes, you're using my mat as a place to sleep. Yes. Oh, and you won't let me brush you and get rid of things. Yes. Oh, you're trying to look cute for the camera. This right here is my little container thing. It's not very well built, but it does its thing. Inside, I have SD card for my camcorder, eye drops, Dramamine, erasers, Copic thing, and the pencil sharpener that I mostly use, which is a clicky eraser. I love this thing. Best purchase ever. Inside here is just a bunch of paperwork that I have to go through for pl donating plasma. Uh, in here. This thing right here is where I keep all of my multi liners and pencils that I will use like 95% of the time whenever I'm sketching. Uh, trying to look cute. <laughs> um, but I keep it in here in case I have to go somewhere. I can just grab it and go. Same with these. These three sketchbooks. Um, these two aren't being used right now and then this one is being used but it's in there for right now because it saves space and also Houdini's kind of in the way. And then these right here are all swatch pads and extra little bits and bobs of paper that I use to take swatches. Can you let go of my arm? I love you, baby. <sighs> this right here is my Copic like swatches and Copic stuff. I just keep them in a page protector because it's easier. Honey, 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 you gotta let go. You gotta let go of my arm. Hey, don't you bite me. Don't you bite me. Sorry. This right here, if I can get it, because it has my arm, as you guys can probably see in the reflection. This here is my second screen. Um, I hardly ever use it because I only use it to pull up references and stuff like that, so that's the only time that this is ever turned on. This little piece of paper right here is for my Copic refills. Down here below it is my little cup of change and buttons and other things. My screen cleaner. Screen cleaner, aspirin, uh, rubbing alcohol is in here, gold ink, and silver ink. Oh my god, Houdini, please let go of my sleeve, baby. I love you, but not this much. <laughs> this here is my Copic, or not my Copics, but my colored pencils. So, I have a lot of colored pencils. I don't even remember the counts that I have them. But I know that they're below in the drawers, which you guys will see in a minute. And then this here is my other lamp with a bunch of stuff on it and jewelry because I don't have a jewelry holder so that's what I use this for and if you could thank you thank you for letting go and my cell phone so yeah this is my desk my desky desky desk it's glorious <sighs> eventually I'm gonna need that space Houdini so yeah and this is the main part of the desk that I use this down here is the area below my desk. Um, over here is picture frames, my Copic bag. So if I want to take my Copics on the go, I can. A little safe that really isn't used for much. A bag that I use to stuff my art supplies in. My shoes got shoved down there. Uh, my feather duster for when I have to dust. And some paper towels. And then we have these. Ugh. Two or three drawers systems. We have a two liter of Mountain Dew. That is mine. Don't worry, it's not unsanitary. But on top, we have some random supplies and a print from Rizu Kazan. I need to get it framed and stuff before I can hang it, hence why it's chilling down here so that it doesn't get too damaged because of Houdini. We have my foreign currency collection, my journal sketchbook thing, which I haven't used yet. This one is currently in use. And then we have another sketchbook down here, which is used for funsies and needs to be used for more funsies. And then below that is uh, the 
envelope that Nautica has used to send her stuff to me in case I ever feel like sending some, something to her. Uh, I have her address there and I'm not unveiling it because, yeah. This right here, as you can see, is scraps. That's all scrap paper. So if I ever run out of scrap paper up here, I can always just pull some more down there. In here, we have my pastels and my scholar colored pencils and some Copic papers. Right here we have all my watercolor stuff, so my watercolor toys, my Winsor & Newton, and the Japanese brushes that Lemmy did a review on, and a little cup so that if I want to put like rubbing alcohol in it or water, I can. Down here is some more watercolor stuff, some watercolor brushes, and a straw for watercolor effects. In here, this is a junk drawer. That's essentially all it's used for. In here we have my clay tools because as you guys know I have clay over in the back corner and I have clay in this drawer. In here, if I can get it open because it always gets stuck, we have my two tablets. I have a bamboo splash bowl and then above that I, I believe a Graphire 3 Wacom tablet. Uh, my friend Rizzy got, uh, gave this to me after she got uh, a new tablet. So. It's amazing though. And yes, I do actually practice digital artwork. I just don't have the ability to record it. Um, in this tab drawer of these big drawers, we have all of my multi-liner containers, Q-tips, batteries, Mod Podge in here somewhere, needed erasers, I think I have enough. <laughs> Chargers for batteries for my regular camera, tape, tripod, mini tripod, my ABS system, and inside that is a bunch of Copic supplies as well. More tape! More tape! Say, mm, more stuff for my cameras, so mostly it's just cameras and whenever I get them light bulbs go in here too. Like as you can see, like everything is labeled. And here we have a random brownie because I have a random brownie. <laughs> on ask. I get hungry and so we had brownies last night so or was it this morning I don't know I just grabbed a brownie and saved it I was like get it in a plastic bag and save it so this here is my Prismacolor 24 pack container and my 132 count container as well I don't like keeping them in these containers just because that would mean I'd have to put them away and I don't want to do that we got some more ATC fanboy cards here is my ATC card holder thing. As you can see, it's completely filled with ATC cards. I got them off Nautica because she had a bunch. Then we have my Prismacolor fixative. So nice. So yeah, that's what's kept in here. Not very much. And down in here, we have all of my markers. Yeah! So we have the Marvi Uchida. We have rubbing alcohol. I have this bottle, which is almost empty, and then I have this bottle right here, which is amazing. We have my Prismacolors, my Spectrum Norse, and then these are all my Sharpies. And then this right here, I don't know if you guys remember the Peter Popper review, but I don't use them, so I stuffed them down here. <laughs> I'm never going to use them, I swear. They're worst multi-liners ever. So, uh, yeah, that is all that's really down below. It's not a very huge space, and in fact, I've run out of space for all of my stuff. So, eventually, I'd like to get the desk upgraded to maybe, like, an L-shaped desk or something, so that, like, I don't know, it'll be easier. So, yeah, I mean, this is my space. It is glorious. And all the good stuff, and in case you're wondering what's above here, it's my Attack on Titan ball scroll for the live action film, which I did not like. Though I will say that poster is awesome. That is the only reason it's up. So, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my little desk tour thing. And uh, remember, like I said in my opening, and as I showed in my opening, this stuff takes time to get to acquire and... Uh, mine is no exception, so. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next week for next week's video. So, yeah. You want to say bye-bye? You want to say bye-bye? Yeah? 
Hey, 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 no, that is my fingers. What is wrong with you? I was just asking if you want to say goodbye. Hi, you're on camera. <gasps> Alright, I'll see you guys next week. You want to say bye? Okay, you know, you're wanting to, like, attack my hand. No, no, bad. You behave. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> uh.